real quick, this is my alt channel, and my main channel is in danger every day of getting banned as a result of talking with these amazing people very candidly. So please do me a favor and subscribe down below. Helps me out a lot. Get the hell on it, dog on it. But this whole uh, this whole thing's about Nick, and Nick has made a lot of statements lately and is giving a lot of insight to what's going on. And it's statements that I'm really enjoying seeing um, because the worst thing about this entire situation is Nick not seeing that he has an issue, right? And I think him addressing that, which he told me in text he was, so I've already known this for a couple of days, but to see him publicly kind of state this, is very nice and then reiterate it to me through dms or well text messages on phones as well um kind of makes me lean towards you know he's in the right headspace for surviving this now regardless of not if he avoids charges that's another thing altogether especially when the body cam footage comes out now as far as the court of public opinion that's going to be damning you know if the body footage is like fucked yeah the court of a public opinion is going to go nuclear on that shit and there's no way to avoid it, especially when there's children involved. Because what do children represent? Innocence. They represent innocence. And I see a lot of people faux outrage over the kid thing. And it's if you're not good at that, you just come off disingenuous and it's kind of lame. The way that I re like I identify with it is... Uh, from an inner an innocence perspective i don't like seeing little cats get beat on and i don't like seeing children be mistreated because it's the innocence factor not really just because they're children in general which doesn't really make sense now that i said that out loud but it works in my mind but let me hit a couple of these super chats and we'll see frank says happy pride month to celebrate please answer it in detail a kill marry or fuck nick ricada cecil eric july um I would marry Cecil. I would. Oh, fuck. This is hard. I would marry Cecil. For sure. For sure. Um, <laughs> it's the other one's hard. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn. It's hard to say because I don't want to have sex with Nick. You know? Because I feel like, you know, I could I definitely catch some. Uh, and I don't think Eric's banging anybody other than like the Saucy Scissors every once in a while. But they might have something. Man, I can't tell you. I, I Let's say let's say kill Nick and fuck Eric July. For the memes. Okay. I'm trying to be honest. All right. Anyways. Thank you, Frank. Love you, Frank. Julie uh, says, I was at the track a week old with cotton balls in my baby years. Dad race. Brother race. Crab and Dale died. Same. Sundays had racing on TV, not football. I agree. That's how I grew up. That's exactly how I grew up. Um, <clears throat> anyways, thank you so much. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on. What's up? Oh, my God. Anyways, hey, hey, I'm just memeing. I'm memeing everybody. All right. So anyways, Nick's made some statements, and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna address a few of these because they're kind of spicy. But Nick went ham as hell recently online and gave us a little bit of insight to what he's doing. And some of this I like. You know, some of it's all right. Um, but also uh, the common theme that, oh, Nick, you need to shut your mouth. Ah, whatever. Um, I guess it's like whatever. It, Nick kind of makes a good point on this whole thing. But let's go up. We're going to go. We're going to start with. OK, here it is. This is when he broke silence finally. So legal mindset, the, the boy of the hour, the tall boy. Um, who has been covering this subject matter extensively, and I mean extensively, um, says everyone's been saying this for a week now and he hasn't listened, can only imagine how the record will expand when he starts streaming again. And he's referring to Nick talking on social media, right? That's what he's referring to. Um, so Nick says, your advice is worthless. Now, what does he mean like by that? What exactly does he mean by that? Because, you know, from behind the scenes... Not and from not a viewer perspective, by the way, there's a lot going on behind the scenes that a lot of you guys don't know about. Um, and it's starting to starting to push the envelope in certain ways. Um, that's kind of look, it's hard to it's hard to say this, but 
Most people are on the same page with the whole Nick thing. You know what I'm saying? Tug, he, tug, tug is aware Nick fucked up. Tug is aware that Nick was avoiding accountability. Tug is aware of all these things. Flash is aware of all these things. Now, Flash and Nick got into a fight. I get it. We covered the DMs in the last show. But Anna, you know, Anna was calling out uh, Stilto, which people thought that meant she was defending him. Now, I could see where you get that from because it seems like all she is doing is calling out people and not really responding to the other side of it. So I get it. But I've talked to Anna in DMs, and she feels the same way. Um, so we, I think everybody kind of feels the same way and it's not a, an, an unreasonable position to be like, okay, look, obviously Nick's fucked up. Obviously Nick did some shit and obviously we want to see the best outcome because we know Nick in real life We're we've all hung out a hundred times. We're all friends with the exception of a couple of people, I guess I'm going to mention here soon. Um, so normal people, <laughs> people of a reasonable, uh, brainwave pattern, generally want their friends to uh, make it out of a situation. I know viewers don't, um, and I'm not saying all viewers, obviously. I'm saying like a big portion of viewers don't. Um, uh, a lot of people just want to see the biggest downfall possible, you know, in forms of entertainment. And I get it. You know, I get it. it people like to watch a train wreck. And I'm right there with you, but when you're personally connected, it's a little bit different. Um, the cope and sneed method, you know. <laughs> um, but it, at anyway. Um, Everybody's kind of on the same page, except for a couple people. And those couple people are going really, really hard in the other direction. Now, why are they going hard in the other direction? You might ask. It's pretty obvious. And look, I can't really, I can't really shame people. I mean, you know, I'm not really about shaming anyway, but I can't really fault people too much. All I can do is kind of tell people I'm noticing the pattern. And one of those people is Andrew. Legal mindset. Dude's super detailed. He's super good at covering, you know, law-based stuff. I watch his show all the time. Um, I think he's real talented. I mean, he obviously has a great, he has a huge channel. He's doing a good thing. Um, but you'll notice something in these themes if you're watching for months. And I'm not only a creator, I'm a viewer. I watch all my friends' streams. I will pull them up on my third monitor, and I'll watch them. I do this every single day. And I've noticed themes from certain creators. And I'll use Andrew as an example just because it's on my screen right now. Legal Mindset was covering... Let's go. We're going to go back like a year, and this is kind of... And this is stuff that kind of uh, melds with behind the scenes that you guys don't really know about. Um, but Mindset was covering Disney's lawsuit. Okay. Um, and doing a great job at it. And he's getting some views from this. And he's getting invited on channels that are loosely related to FNT, Geeks and Gamers, stuff like that. Well, after a couple weeks or a month or two months, that will kind of that kind of fell off. Um, and then the Ninja Sanji thing happened with VTubers and shit like that. And I got to give you some context. I had a stint with Pippa Pipkin. Um, Kirsch, I was going to have on my channel and she canceled after the Pippa thing, obviously, with that. That's reasonable. And uh, a few VTubers were I was having them on my show. And apparently I'm like l quite literally Satan to VTubers now. They could never forgive me. Now, granted, they're all like 13 years old and autistic, so that's not really that unbelievable of an idea. Um, so, I mean, it's not really no harm, no foul, in my opinion, <laughs> you know. But um, Andrew's getting thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of concurrent covering Ninja Sanji and getting other VTubers on his show as guests. So, lo and behold, out of nowhere, I was banned on Andrew's channel. I want to reiterate something. Um, I'm I'm friends with Andrew. I've never had a conversation negative about Andrew or with Andrew at any point. We've always been tight. He came on my show when he was kind of, you know, 200. He had 200, 100 people watching. He came on my show. I went on his show. We had a lot of fun. But suddenly when he started covering VTuber drama and it started really growing really fast and he had a lot of people watching, 
I was banned on his channel. It's pretty obvious why. Because the viewers of his channel fucking detest me. And that's fine, but DM me and tell me you're going to ban me on my on your channel. I'll, I won't be pissed. I'll be like, yeah, dude, go ahead. I know they don't like me. Fucking ban me. Uh, I'm not trying to hurt your, your, your viewership. But doing it to and not telling me, kind of, it's kind of painting a picture. And we're getting closer to that. So that's kind of weird. And then we notice Andrew's blocking everybody on Twitter, X, whatever. Also very strange why this is going on. Well, the Ninja Sanji thing kind of started falling off. You know, he's, he's, you know, getting back down to 500, 600 concurrent. And then the Nick thing happens and he covers it on his first stream. And it was kind of like middle of the road. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of like a middle of the road opinion kind of starting off. And his viewership went through the roof, um, which is awesome. The only problem is the more he screams, like, you know, fuck Nick, he's stupid, he's a piece of shit, blah, 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 all that stuff, the more his viewership climbs. Because now he's speaking directly to a, you know, a popular forum and all the detractors that exist. The only unfortunate truth to this is they don't like you. These people that you're appealing to, they want you dead. They just want you dead the least right now. So the second you say anything, they're going to kill your ass. And that's how that works. So it's very, very obvious. And I, Andrew still never messaged me. I'm just banned on his channel. Never had any. We've never talked about it. He just banned me. I DM'd him a week ago asking why I was banned. Never heard anything back. That's kind of weird. Um, so it's very obvious what's going on there. And look, I'm not saying that what he's saying is not the correct thing to say or his coverage is bad in, in any shape or form. I'm saying it's it's obvious what the motivation is there. And that's fine. Um, just let me know you're going to fucking, you're going you gonna to silence me. And I'll, I'll be all good with it. I'm totally cool with it. You can do whatever you want. Um, just, just let me know beforehand. Because I was in eighth grade once. We all were. Um, I was a fat, nerdy kid in eighth grade, and I had friends who they lost their baby fat and had little skinny kids six packs and suddenly started playing football, and they suddenly were popular in school. And guess what they did to all their friends that they used to be close with? They, they called them figs. They went and sat at the cool ki kids' table and flicked us off and called us figs. Oh, fucking losers. Immediately. Why? For an ounce of clout from their peers. That's all they wanted. Um, and in the end, it left them completely alone. But, you know, now they're on meth and dead, probably. That's just how that works, <laughs> you know. And um, I'm just saying that's, that's, that's kind of a similar situation. You're vying for the approval of a larger audience. And I'm just, it's not a, not a good audience to be vying for approval over, <laughs> you know. Um, but that's what, it's obvious what the motivation is there, right? And that's fine. Um, a lot of people are going that route. Um, it's just when you start getting really animated and screaming and faux outrage, you're doing it to appeal to these people to give you more views and shit. And that's whatever. Um, it's just kind of gross. I, and, uh, people deal with things in different ways. It's just, I'm 34 years old. I'm not 14. Um, message me if you're going to block me, just message me. Uh, I'm not, I'm not 13 years old. You know, uh, that's, that's weird. That's like little kid stuff. You know, it's like when when a girl doesn't like you anymore and she just like ghosts you and hopes you don't notice. That's like feminine behavior. It's weird. Um, so <clears throat> stop doing that.